Hope everybody's having a good day. This is April 13th, 2018. Friday the 13th. Had a couple more dreams, you know, that were quite interesting. And before I share them, you know, one dream involved the cares of this world and, you know, eating and drinking, you know, and the cares of this world is what it was referring to. And before I read the first dream, you know, I don't drink any, any alcohol at all. And I don't drink any beer and, but I'm saying I drink, dreamed about drinking and I'll interpret the dream. But the bigger issue is I dreamed about this same storm again, hitting the same areas that I keep dreaming. And so far, you know, before I went to bed last night, I'd had like eight dreams, you know, of this storm, you know, since March 21st. And I dreamed two more last night about this windstorm. So we'll just get into it and talk about it. April 13th, 2018, the first dream I dreamed was this. I dreamed that I was at a campground and it was late afternoon. It was getting toward the end of the day, wrapping things up. <clears throat> and I was at some bar I drank four or five beers in the, drink, in the dream. Now just remember, in real life, I don't drink at all. And it's been many, many, many years since I've drank at all. But this is just a dream. So I drank four or five beers, and then I thought, it's been 13 years, you know, since I had drank in the dream. And number 13 refers to sin and rebellion. And then I was sort of buzzed, and if you get overcome with the cares of this world, you get sort of buzzed. You know, you're sort of drunken if you're in the cares of this world. And then I stopped drinking. And then I said or thought, I don't want to get in trouble driving. Well, you know, if you're overcome with the cares of this world, you know, you can't make right spiritual decisions and that can get you into trouble so i remembered that i had my tent there you know with me and i couldn't decide whether to camp there or to go to the house you know you're torn between do you want to stay in this world or do you want to go home <clears throat> So finally, I began sobering up. It's important to uh, like come out of the cares of this world. You begin sobering up, you know, from the slight buzz, you know, if you're slightly overcome with the cares of this world. And then I said, no more. There will not be any more beer or alcohol in my life from this point on. What it's saying is like, you're fixing to wrap things up. There won't be, you know, any more cares of this world cause it's fixing to change. And then I said, I don't drink anymore. You know, I remembered at that point, I don't drink. And you know, that's like pointing to, you know, you remember Jesus is your savior. And, you know, to put your focus on him and not be drunken with the cares of this world. So I said, I don't drink anymore. And, you know, as I was, you know, and I was going to walk, you know, quite a ways up to the entrance, you know, where you go in. Well, just remember, Jesus is the door. And it was pointing that he's the entrance. And I was going to go get my tent. And, you know, you can move your tent around. And, you know, move around and follow him. And I decided to just camp. Well, I looked laying on the ground. And I saw a picture like, you know, you hang on your wall in your living room or something. The measurements would have ranged about three foot by four foot. It was pretty good size. 
and it was a weather map of the southeast. And again, that same area, Mississippi, Kentucky, South, and Florida. I saw three-fourths of Mississippi in gold, the northern three-fourths of Alabama, and the northern... Or wait a minute, let me say that again. Mississippi, I saw the northern three-fourths in gold, Alabama, the northern half, and the northern third of Georgia from Atlanta north, and all of Tennessee was in gold. Then a voice said, those are not wind advisories. Those are high wind warnings. And in real life, if you're under a high wind warning, it means that winds could be sustained at 58 miles an hour or frequent gusts 58 miles an hour or higher. That was if it was real life in the weather world, that's what a high wind warning is to find out. And a wind advisory is usually, you know, depending on where you are, gusts ranging from 35 to 40 up to 58 is a wind advisory status. And I just thought I would cover that since, you know, we're going to be talking about quite a bit of it. And all of those areas I just read were in gold. Then a voice, you know, like I said, those are high wind warnings. All of Tennessee, like I said, was under a high wind warning. Then as I looked at the picture, I said, that was yesterday. And, you know, yesterday refers, you know, to the day before. And, you know, America was yesterday. And, you know, yesterday refers to before the tribulation started. I feel a conviction. And I never got into any trouble for stumbling and drinking five beers. And, you know, five refers, you know, to the grace of God, you know, in that. And he died for us. And everybody, you know, has sinned and gets caught up in the cares of this world and is drunken at times and, you know, overcome with wine, you know, as they call it, or strong drink. But Jesus died for us. He took our penalty. So I did not get in any trouble for drinking five beers. And the sun was setting and the weather was clear. You know, and I woke up. And I was just going to say those high wind warnings were the same areas and that makes like 10 dreams now that I've had of that same thing. You know, varying settings, but keep dreaming the same thing. The second dream, I dreamed I was at some theme park. I don't know where it was, but it was early morning. The sun wasn't up yet, but... It was getting pretty daylight. Skies were clear. I saw I was on the ground and I saw one ride and you know I seen tractors riding on a track, you know, up high on this ride over my head. Then somebody said, Well, the park's open now, but there's a high wind warning for like sixty to seventy plus mile an hour winds. Synoptic winds, that means that it's not associated with a severe thunderstorm. Synoptic means it has to do with the pressure difference between high and low pressure, you know, causing the winds. So the park was going to be closed for a high wind warning for synoptic winds. And then they said they'll be shutting it down shortly when that starts. And I dreamed that when they did, they would be blowing a horn to say when the park was going to be shut down for this high wind warning that was just going to be really bad. And the winds were calm at the time, so I went to this water slide I had never been on, and there were like 15 people in line you know, kids in front of me, and they were going one right after the other. So 
when I got in the ride, I kind of waited a minute before I went down, you know, to let them get down and, you know, to the bottom. Well, then I went. Well, I met them halfway down, you know, still in the flume of the slide, you know, inside it. But instead of slamming into them, I like hit them gently and nobody ever got hurt. And no one ever got hurt, you know, when I went down it. And, you know, it was them that did not ride the ride properly. I just remembered at that time that the park was going to close for the day for a high wind warning. Not a wind advisory, a high wind warning. And like I said, they would blow the horn. And when it did, some gusts, I think they were telling me some gusts could top 80 miles an hour. And I woke up, and like I said, the park, I didn't know where it was, but there was this song I heard in there. It was by Paul Davis that was back in the 80s, and the name of it is called Cool Night. Paul Davis is going to be a cool night. And I woke up. And those are the two dreams that I had last night. And let's jump to reality now. Well, in these other dreams, and this is a literal storm I'm talking about, not parabolic. This is literal here. The low pressure has, like I dreamed, trended further south to track through, you know, the middle part of Kansas it looks like, and then take a little dip further to the south as it gets into Missouri, down more toward Tennessee, it looked like. I watched, you know, just to, to make sure it wasn't, you know, just something. I watched three different sources, three different models, three different forecasters last night, and it had trended further south. And they were forecasting the exact same wind speeds in the plains that I had dreamed, 60 to 70. And there had been some, you know, are saying it could gush to 80. And, you know, they're talking about that now. That's real life, not a dream. And when I've seen this thing, the area that it keeps pointing out is from the Mississippi River to the east, the same exact area that I was talking about and all these other ones, you know, from the Mississippi River and, you know, from about Jackson, Mississippi to the north, you know, up to about Paducah, Kentucky. You know, between those two and then angling up, you know, draw a straight line from about Jackson, Mississippi over to the outer banks of North Carolina. That was about the pattern that the southern extent of the high wind warnings in my dreams keep being. And it's always all of Tennessee. And whether it's a literal high wind warning or, you know, a lot of damage results, that remains to be seen. Because a lot of times I put emphasis on it our dreams are parabolic. They're to tell us spiritual mysteries. And a lot of times it's not literal, but I'm just saying something here because there's a lot of stuff that is literal. And in real life, there's a big storm in the plains, blizzard warnings, high wind warnings, you know, severe weather risk, you know, pretty much all the way Oklahoma to the East Coast at this time. And... The highest risk I've seen is an enhanced risk, you know, for today to the west and then, you know, for the Gulf states, I think it's eastern Mississippi, Alabama, and parts of Georgia tomorrow, then the Carolinas Monday. That's real life and, you know, a lot of ice, a lot of snow for the northeast and I'm just saying something about it because I've cause I dreamed it. And it's not common for me to have 10 dreams 
you know, that are identical like that. I know it's trying to tell me something. I just don't know at this time, is it all literal or is some of it parabolic or is it a mix of both? But I do know one thing, 100%, war is becoming more likely and wind is war, you know, and the word usually, you know, represented, you know, by the whirlwind. And that's becoming more likely with Syria. And I did dream a couple of dreams, you know, about the storm with Syria did bomb out. Well, now it's come to pass in real life that the low pressure system that's in the central plains, you know, causing all the havoc that meteorologically in real life that's bombed out. That means that it dropped more than 24 millibars in a 24 hour period. And I think that that was forecast to be a 980 something millibar bomb, bombogenesis cyclone and that's a literal storm. And I just thought I would put all of this out there because I feel that when you have 10 dreams of a high wind warning and tornado warnings and all of that stuff and the thing, the exact same things continue to keep recurring like that and the dreams are so identical and it's the exact same areas, it might be trying to tell you something. So I would just watch out if you're east of Mississippi, Tennessee, the Gulf States, to the Carolinas, North and South Carolina, Kentucky area, from the Mississippi River to the East Coast, you know, the Southeast, fourth, you know, of America, and then the Northeast, or, you know, basically the Eastern half of America, I would just watch out, you know, I would just keep watch. I didn't, I didn't say panic about it or, you know, get worked up about it. I just said keep watch. I think bad weather could be on the way. And I hope everybody enjoyed this and gets the most out of it. Has a blessed day. And just remember, don't be drunk with the cares of this world. Let Jesus have those and he'll take care of you. And everybody have a blessed day.